Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Aristopat. I'm a content creator. And if it's the first time you're coming across my channel, guys, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Guys, since I started giving you the migrant crisis, there's never a dull moment on this channel. And today, I was talking about the Asian migrant crisis. Because as you know, guys, 80 is going through a lot of problem. There are tumultuous times now in Haiti. And gang members are basically taking 80 over. And as a result of the problem in Haiti, uh, um, as a result of the problem in Haiti, the Asians are leaving Haiti and they're basically on their way to the United States of America. The governor of Florida said he's not going to take this and that he will protect Florida by land, air, and sea. And about two weeks ago, a boat was intercepted with about 65 Asians, including women and children and they were immediately sent back to Haiti. The governor said that this is called an, an evasive action to protect the Florida border. So we are saying, why can't they take the same evasive actions on the southern border by uh, uh, um, Texas, Arizona, and California? Because a lot of other people are coming in, but Asian people continue to be sent back. Guys, I still stand up to my word that I believe that everyone should come through a legal port of entry. But for some reason, people are saying that when the Cubans come in, they are welcome, and the Asians are always being sent back. If it's the first time you're coming across my channel, guys, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. So this morning, I'll be walking and see if I can get some feedback from some people in the streets as to their reaction about the Asian migrant crisis. I think they got independence about 1804. And since then, Haiti has been going through decades of dictatorship, corruption, that basically cripples Haiti's economy. Recently, the interim prime minister of Haiti was on his way from Kenya, and he was told not to go back to Haiti. So he diverted his flight. His flight was diverted to San Domingo. And the president of San Domingo decided that the plane should not land here and said the interim prime minister was a persona non grata. In English, means a person that is not welcome. Todo bien, todo bien, todo bien, todo bien. Gracias, gracias. So the guy is saying that the Asian Prime Minister is a persona non grata. That means he is not welcome. So he had to uh, divert his flight to Puerto Rico, where he is as we are speaking. So guys, put in the comment section, let me know what you think about the Florida governor putting in air, sea, and land protection against the Asian. And we are, we are not saying that the Asian should come, but I would like to see the same effort in the southern border by, 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 by Texas, Arizona, and California, where everyone is coming in, including Chinese uh, and Hispanic, and even some blacks are coming in that area. And nobody, and they just come in, given 
a nice, refreshing drink processed and sent into America. Remember, guys, I'm trying to give you the best content on the migrant crisis. And if it's the first time you're coming across my channel, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. Let's walk in. You can see over there a lot of migrants standing on the street and just basically looking for work. It is said that about 150 gangs are operating in Haiti. And gangs basically take over the, 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 the capital, Port-au-Prince. Yes, gangs, they took over the capital, Port-au-Prince. And now it's on, almost on the brink of starvation. And that's why the Haitians are heading to the United States of America. But as I said, the governor of Florida is saying that he's putting in all these evasive actions. I wonder if they could put in the same evasive action on the other southern uh, border, uh, uh, like um, like uh, um, Texas, California, and Arizona. Dime Boricua. Bring on the video, bring, bring, bring. What is the video? Give me a video. What is the video? Of all the things that are happening in the world. Everything is good. We don't have death, we're good. We're good in the video. Yes. We don't pay anything. No, 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 we don't pay anything. We don't pay anything. What do you think the Haitians are coming now? Because Haiti has a lot of problems. What do you think? Give me a video. Well, the thing is... Speak English better. They got problems just like we're going to have problems. The Haitian? Everybody. Not yeah. Haitian, Mexican, Puerto Rican, even people that are in this country. Yeah, but what what do you think about the governor of Florida say he's going to put in air uh, uh, and sea patrol to stop the Haitian from coming? What do you think? Be he can't stop them. What do you mean he can't stop them? He can't stop them because if they don't go to... For him to stop them, they got to go to Florida. He can't stop them from coming to different countries. No, but he he's stopping them from coming to Florida. Oh, but that's up on him. But that's Florida. How about if they're going somewhere else? He can't stop them. But uh, you know what? Even though he can't really stop them because a lot of them come with their papers, just like the Mexicans do. Now, if that's going to happen, he can't stop them. Yeah, but there's a crisis going on in Haiti, gang violence, and they're trying to run. So what That's, that's going to be a problem because they, he got to find out. Who, he See, he got to do a background check on them. Who's in the gang? What's going on? So they can stop them from coming over here. That's right. That's then right. he can let them come over. Yes. But he got to he got to do his homework and everything like so that. So how about the migrant crisis? Does it affect you? It, do, it doesn't affect me because I look at it. Everybody's got to live. Yes. Everybody's got to eat. Yes. But the thing is, why they get special treatments? Like why can they get an apartment? get more money from welfare, why can they, then they got a lot of kids. Us down here in the United States, they won't even help us. <laughs> Everybody's saying the same thing. They won't help us, but they I can know. help them. I but we one of the richest countries. But how about the people that we help out, why they can't help us? I know, you're right. And Everybody. they're not doing that. Everybody's saying the same thing. All right, buddy, thank you very much, man. All right, man. bro. All right, take care. So yeah, guys, so as I walk, and do I'm trying to block on the Asian crisis as a lot of age, Asian are coming in and I, as I said I stick to my word that everyone should come in a decent way but boy the governor of Florida is saying that he's going to protect his body by land air and sea so why don't they do the same thing in the other borders where everybody else is coming in because as we see from time to time my Cubans are coming in and they hug them up give them a nice warm drink and, and process them and let them in. People from, from other countries, from, from South America come in 
Venezuela, they give them a nice place to stay and do everything. And then they continue. So what I think is what good for the goose is good for the gander. Everybody should be treated the same. If they're going to turn back one, then they should turn back all. But guys, if it's the first time you're coming across Aristopat, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I don't care what people say. I'm trying to do justice for everyone. Try to do justice for everyone. So yes, guys, so I'm out here this morning doing this uh, migrant crisis. And uh, we have these new migrants coming in now, which is the Asian, because the uh, 80 is having a big, big, almost civil war in 80. And um, the governor of Florida is saying that he's, um, he's going to put in patrol, land, air, and sea to prevent the Asians from coming in. So this morning I have my man here, Anif. What's up, Anif? What's going on, man? What's good with you, man? What, what do you think about the Asian crisis that the governor of Florida is saying that he is going to put in land, air, and sea a protection for uh, that the, the Asians cannot come in? I don't see it though it's fair because you got you got a lot of Spanish immigrants coming in and they, they get grants, they get loans, and they get everything. And people that been here all their life can't get nothing. It's hard to get welfare. It's hard to get social security or whatever. But the Spanish people come over and get what they want. But I don't I don't see why they won't let the Haitian people in because they need refuge. It's yes, I I still I still um, stand up to my um, commitment that uh, um, my words that everybody should come to a legal port of entry. But for years they they be taking in. Uh, if you notice, they'll take the Cubans and Central Americans and South Americans, yeah. but they're constantly turning back the Asian. Yeah, so you don't think fair. it's fair to it's it? It's not uh, fair at, at all. Yes. Because you know, see, you go to because um, they had dropped the whole uh, a busload of immigrants and Spanish people off in Edison, and, and the mayor Edison they didn't want them out there, so they just they, they dropped them off in Plainfield and places close. They're going to end up in New York City, but it's not fair. Wow. And you told me that you tried to get uh, um, social services, they wouldn't give it to you. Either. Yeah, I tried to get social, they, they denied me nine times, for some, and I got MS multiple square, I couldn't walk before. And they denied me nine times, I don't know why, but other people get it like that. Wow, sorry to hear that, Anif. Well, Anif, thank you very much for your, your contribution, man. Um, and uh, as I said before, I believe that everybody should come to a uh, a, a decent, a, a legal port of entry, whether whether it be black, white, Spanish, or anybody. Yeah. But for some reason, they they're not um, letting in these Asians. Uh, and they need uh, refuge. I, I understand the legal point of view, but if you need refuge, you need refuge. And other people getting off, so why can't they get off? That's how it is. All right, Anif. Thank you very much, man. Right, thanks, man. And, and take right, it easy, man. Right. So as you can hear guys, gangs have taken over 80. And it's gonna take an international effort to bring some semblance of peace to that troubled country. So as they step up the operation, the migrants are fleeing. The migrants are fleeing. And they are coming to the United States of America. Well, I guess they have a genuine cause to flee. Guys, I guess I see you in another video very soon. I'll keep you up to date on the Asian crisis. Take care. Until then. Bye.